Hello everybody, today we're installing our GTA car kit into a 2005 Toyota Avalon. We're gonna start off with what tools you'll need. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket with an extension and uh, you're gonna need some type of a magnet and a panel removal tool. Uh, so we've, the first step is to remove this silver piece. It might be a different color in your car. And uh, for that, you need to open the door a little bit and get from this side, like kind of lift it up and then just like that it comes off, it has two clips uh, after that uh, you're gonna have to remove this panel it's uh, one piece, it starts with this vent and goes all the way here so we're gonna start off with doing it from the top There's two clips here. Also a good idea to open the door and do it from this side. Just like that. The vent might get separated, so you just... There's two clips here, so you just can push it back and it comes back and then you just gently Work your way around. I'm gonna close the door. This piece just comes off. Once the panel is back in place, you can just put it in. It has these. Uh, uh, what do you? What can you say they are? They're basically uh, grooves which don't let it to pop out. So I'm just gonna put it to the side and it comes off so <clears throat> this piece you can just leave a little bit to the side uh, it's not gonna be in the way so the next step is to remove this whole silver uh, piece around the radio because the radio is underneath here so <clears throat> we're gonna take our clip removal tool and right off here also you can once you lift it up a little bit then you can just work it work your way around so there's two clips here on the sides uh, there's one here so this one already came off and there's one here so you have to kind of lift it up from here just like that so as you can see it's kind of tight the first time when you're removing it as you can see once it's uh, lifted up this panel here lifted up so we're just, just gonna so we don't damage it just lift it up like that and then <clears throat> it comes off so there's uh, for the climate controls there's two connections at the back so we're just gonna disconnect one and we're gonna disconnect the one that is closer to the driver So the one that is closer to the driver you can see here, this one we're going to disconnect, we're going to press this clip and this comes off. So as you can see here at the back, uh, so this is where you got to start and uh, you can take the clip removal tool and just kind of wiggle around here so you can get these clips loose. Then there's third one here and on the other side there's uh, two clips right by the, um, by this, uh, climate control so we're gonna put this panel to the side uh, the next step is to remove the four bolts holding the radio so there's uh, two on this side and two on the other side and we're gonna go ahead and use our 10 millimeter socket with an extension to remove it and uh, this is where you can use the magnet so you don't drop down any screws or bolts so once you undo the 
four bolts the radio is gonna be ready to come out so we're gonna show you our kit so you have the module in the middle then you have uh, this is the plug that's gonna go to the back of the radio uh, and on the other side you have an Apple cable and a 3.5 millimeter jack so this is the two outputs you're gonna have from the kit so you can connect either any mp3 player or uh, any device that has a 3.5 millimeter jack or an iPod iPhone so we're gonna take this this is what's gonna go to the back of the radio we're gonna take the radio out and uh, there's the connection right here so we're gonna go ahead and just plug it in and that's it <clears throat> So once we plugged it in, we're gonna take our keys. The keys for the car. Right. So we're gonna take our keys. We're gonna. So we're gonna test if everything works properly. So we're gonna turn on the radio. We're gonna connect our iPhone 4 to the kit and uh, we're gonna turn off some apps here, they're turned off. So we're gonna go press the disc button. So the first time you're gonna press it is gonna be a regular CD. Uh, we're gonna press it again and it's gonna say CD1. So when there's nothing connected it's gonna say CD1 disc 4 track 8. So you can just connect to this mode, you can just connect your auxiliary and press play and it's gonna play but we're gonna connect our iPhone 4 so it's gonna start charging and uh, we're gonna start with, uh, we're gonna manually switch to disc 1 so disc 1 is your hybrid mode and in this mode you can control the music both from the iPod, iPhone or th through your radio as you can see I'm switching the tracks from here. You can also use your steering wheel controls. Uh, so basically you can just choose uh, whichever playlist you like and uh, put the iPod iPhone away and just scroll through the steering wheel controls or your radio controls. The other option uh, uh, that we have is the playlist mode. So we're gonna use the disc plus button or disc up button and it's gonna switch to disc two. And if you press the text button, it's gonna say playlist one. You press it again, it's gonna show you the track name. So in this mode, the iPod, iPhone, get they get locked and uh, you can't control it through here. You can only control it through the car controls. So uh, you're gonna press text. The text option will not work when you're in the hybrid mode. It will only work in the playlist mode. So if you go to another time disc up, it's gonna go to disc three and that's your second playlist and disc 4 is your third and uh, so on. If you get lost you can just press text and it's gonna show you which playlist it is and then you press it again it's gonna show you the song name and uh, that's pretty much it and if you go to disc 5 it's just one behind for the playlist and if you wanna get the iPod unlocked again you just go back to disc 1 and it unlocks it. So you gotta make sure that everything works properly, that all the controls work, that the sound is the same as your CD and uh, after that you can run the wire. So now that we tested everything, you can either run the wire to the glove box or you can uh, run it to the, to the middle, uh, but you have to take apart uh, the, the middle of the dash and you're gonna have to drill holes but if you wanna run it to the glove box you don't have to drill a hole uh, you can also run it to the vents some people like putting a holder on their vent so you can just put a holder here and uh, have it uh, have the cable coming out through here uh, it's up to you what you wanna do but uh, uh, there's options for this car so uh, again, this was a video for GTA Car Kits and the 2005 Toyota Avalon. I hope you liked the video and we'll see you next time.